box. I'm back. It's me, Mabu Chowdhury, aka the People's Coach, aka your host and speak up for today. Now, welcome back to more of my motivational, inspirational, and educational videos. Now, in today's video, I want to talk to you guys about why. Why people fail. There's a number of reasons why people fail, but the majority. Gemma? Yeah, child. I do apologize for that. That was just my mother to, to tell me to just maps, tone things down. You're speaking a bit too loud. So anyway, people, the reason why majority of the times people fail is because of the fact that they listen to people around them, whether it be their friends, nearest to loved ones, and their family. Without even going out there and trying things for themselves, trying to discover what their true potential is. They end up listening to the limitations of others. Those others telling them, you cannot do this. You don't have the capacity. You don't have the capability. You just don't have the know-how. You don't have the education, the qualification, or the experience. You can't do it. You shouldn't do this. I'm more experienced because I know more than you. But that is so not the case. It's because we allow ourselves to be influenced by others, by their decisions. We allow them to determine what our limitations are, our life, how it should be, how, how our life, how, how our life should be led according to their own perspectives and understandings. Because at the end of the day, what it is that they're doing is this. They have a bubble, they have a world that they perceive things in. They have limits, they have boundaries. So they will try to push that onto you. This is the way I see things. These are my interpretations, these are my experiences. And this is how the world is. That is so not the case. That is how those things are because of your own experiences and because of your own personal journey. It's not the same for others out there. Others see the, the world in so many different ways. And what we tend to do is we tend to transfer all of that baggage onto others and trying to shut things down. Because it doesn't confine to the way we think. It doesn't confine to the way we do things. But I'm here to tell you to stop this. Because you do not benefit others out there by doing that. You, you don't allow people to explore things. Just because you have fears, phobias and boundaries and barriers, it doesn't mean to say that you push that on other, uh, other people. No one really knows their true potential until they actually put themselves out there, until they actually start exploring things. And far and few have that courage to explore things. There's too many cowards out there who don't want to put themselves in uncomfortable situations. They would rather stay in their little world, their, their bubble, and not explore their true potential. How many times have you been told to not do this, you can't do this, by your closest ones? Whether it be your mother, your father, your brother, or your lover. They're always trying to shut you down. Not always, sorry. What I mean always is either this person or that person. That's what I was regarding as always. Not the same person all the time. Or well, it could be. So, people. That's just one of many reasons why you fail. Because you listen to others. I'll tell you what. If you do want to succeed, go out there and make that mistake yourself. As long as, as long as you're willing to take the backlash. You're willing to accept the consequences of your actions. Because every choice has a reaction. Every choice has a consequence. So whatever you decide, you need to be man enough to accept the backlash or to accept the consequence of your actions, whether it be very fatal or not. So when you make that choice, be prepared because you will not have everyone on your side. You may have your enemy, you may have more enemies than when you first started off with. And those enemy enemies could be your nearest dearest loved ones. So be prepared for that. Be prepared for the backlash. Be prepared for criticism. Coming from your nearest, dearest loved ones. Because you, criticism only comes because, from them, because of the fact that you're not listening to their way of thinking. You're not listening to what they're saying when they're trying to box you in. 
when they're trying to stop you from transgressing outside of their boundaries because that's the way that they they're seeing things as well it doesn't confine to their thinking it doesn't confine to their limits you're going beyond their limits so therefore they need to drag you back in so be prepared for that type of resistance folks I'm all for advice but at the end of the day the choice is yours whether you want to follow through or not, the choice is yours. Whether you want to get influenced by this person or not, the choice is yours. But one thing I do say is be mindful about your influences. Only go to those people who empower you, who enlighten you, who help you to elevate and move, who help you to elevate in order to be great and move forwards. Not people who shut you down. Because they don't know your... They don't know your true potential. You do not know your true potential until you actually go out there and expose yourself to the world. So people, that is my rant for today. I hope that's been insightful. I hope that's given you something to think about. Until then, take care, stay strong, stay focused. And always live to learn to empower and inspire the lives of many as well as yourself. Bye for now.